welcome back to yet another video in this video we're going to be learning how to create this design with canva let's get right into it okay so i have created a new design document with the dimensions 3240 by 4050 all right so what i'm just gonna do i'm just going to go ahead and bring in my background okay so this is the background that i want to use this is just like a gradient pink background just gonna go ahead and um set the image as the background okay so this background kind of looks dull now but uh, when we go to lightroom and everything we're going to make it look kind of more brighter i can also make it to look more um brighter by increasing saturation and uh, vibrance but i'm not gonna do that here probably when just go into um editing it with photo with lightroom okay so next i'm gonna do is i'm going to bring in this image and then this other stuff here okay so basically the idea and i want to model for this design is this particular stuff here okay so you can see how the strawberry is here and all this other stuff but this one is kind of like um scattered than the rest and doesn't really look good but so i'm gonna make it look we're going to make a better version of that all right so i'm just going to reduce the size of this i'm gonna place it over here and i want to place the image of this lady behind it okay so next the next thing to do is to bring the image of a strawberry so this is the first one which i'm just gonna place around here I'm just going to reduce the size of this a bit. Okay. Now, as you can see, um, this place of the lady's image is still showing now. So we are going to like sort that out in a little bit. All right. We're going to sort that out in a little bit. Um, but this for now, let's just um, focus on these other stuffs. I'm just going to bring in the other strawberry. And this is going to be around here okay and i'm going to duplicate it and no let me not duplicate it yet let me just leave it because i'm supposed to duplicate it and also place it around here but we're going to do that later because we're going to edit and blur it so instead of just doing them one by one so that so i'll just like just duplicate this and put there all right so next i'm just going to bring in my text i'm going to add a text box i'm going to change the font here to montserrat Okay, so Montserrat, um, going to select extra bold. I'm going to change the color. Um, let's give it a better color. So this is FF, um, EEF6, just like the color of the background. All right but a lighter version just like um maybe this side of the color of the background all right so i'm just gonna put it over here i'm going to type in um strawberry small letter s all right so strawberry i'm gonna um select it i'm gonna go to my format make it to be left aligned and then now i'm just going to put this in different lines so i want the I want it to be like this, all right? So S T R A W B then E R R Y. Going to reduce the line spacing. Okay. Great. And I'm also going to reduce the letter spacing. Okay. Now I'm going to increase the size of the text. I think I'm going to make this around 500. Just going to stretch it. I think this is kind of too big, so I'm just going to reduce it a bit. Maybe 475. Yeah, 475 should do. 
I'm gonna shift this lady to the right. Now using oh, I used I selected the milkshake by mistake. So I'm gonna shift the lady to the right. Okay, I'm gonna also shift the uh, milkshake a bit to the right. Probably just increase the size. Of, no, there's no need to increase the size. I'm also gonna shift this to to the right also. And make sure that it's on the same a line. What I mean by line is like this here. Okay. Um, next thing I want to do, I'm just going to go back to this text and I'm going to add some shadow to this. So I'm going to go to my effects, go to shadow, tap on it. I'm going to give the direction to be zero, increase the offset, increase the blur. I'm going to just reduce the transparency to 15. I'm going to change the color of this. All right. The, this same here, I'm just going to give it a darker version of this. Okay. So four one or four two zero zero one F should do for me. Okay. I'm just gonna just tap minus here just a bit. So 13 transparency should work. Okay. I'm also gonna bring in another text, so add a text box, and I'm going to type in milkshake. So strawberry milkshake. I'm gonna reduce the size of this text. I'm gonna go to format, make it left aligned. I'm gonna go to my spacing and I'm going to put that spacing back to zero. All right, I'm gonna change the color of this to a yellow color. Okay. Let me gonna give it this hex code um, FFD E59. Okay. I'm going to change the font to Oregano. Okay. And then I'm just going to my format. Okay. Make sure, once I just make sure that it's on left aligned. Okay. You can see it over here. Okay, so font size to 80. I want to also, um, what is the yeah, effects? I'm gonna give it an effect, shadow effect. So let's increase the offset, increase the blur to 100. I'm gonna reduce the transparency. I'm going to change the color of this. Let's give it this with color. Remember that pink color? So we're just gonna come over here. Okay, so 42001F. All right. I'm just gonna reduce the transparency. Yeah, 19 should work. Okay. So, um, next is I'm just gonna go ahead and bring in this milk splash here. Okay. Just to show that it's milk. Okay. <laughs> I want to want to do for this is I want to first. Let me just place it here and. I just want to change the color of this a bit. I want it to, make, I want it to look pink, right? Okay, so what I want to do, I'm going to go to effects, go to my deal tone, I'm going to go to custom, I'm going to make the highlights to be white, like FFFF. And then for this, shadows, I'm just going to give it this pink vibe. Okay. So D4. 0073 I'm just going to copy that hex code for future okay so now we can now see how it looks okay um let me just go to adjust and see if we can yeah I'm going to just increase the vibrance a bit um reduce the shadows so those milky pot those um strawberry pinkish pots can show all I don't think that actually makes any difference um if I increase the highlights yeah those going to lead to highlights as zero um, I think it's just vibrant. I'm gonna touch for this. All right. So I'm gonna go to my position. I want to take it backward, just behind the um, cup or the milkshake. I'm gonna use my nudge just to adjust it a bit. 
okay i'm also gonna get another one that is similar to that milk splash is i think is basically to search for white milk splash Can I see the one I'm looking for here? Okay, see it over here. Okay. I'm also going to download it and make it available for free for you guys. Okay, so I'm going to do what um, the same thing I did for the previous one. I'm just going to go to effects and I'm going to go to my deal tone. I'm going to go to custom, change the highlights to white, and I'm going to change the shadows. Just gonna go to click on this three dot icon go to clipboard and just tap on this all right let's put in the same hex code um d40073 all right so we can now see how it looks i'm gonna increase the size of this all right i'm gonna go to adjust um just gonna use increase the vibrance a bit and probably just increase the whites just a bit I'm gonna go to my position and take it backward. All right, just gonna take this up a bit. Beautiful. Okay. Uh, just gonna reduce it. And I will, let me just adjust this one also. Okay, let's get, get it. I just want to reduce it just a bit also great so I'm gonna go and go to my uploads and bring in a shadow the square down I think it should be here somewhere okay so this is it I'm just gonna put one um put one under the strawberry and then under the milkshake so duplicate then milkshake all right now i think it's time for us to edit our stuff here all right so i just want to step first start with the lady here gonna now go to adjust and i'm gonna go down to i'm gonna um, just go to this tint i'm going to increase the tint the 35 I'm going to increase the brightness a bit okay i'm going to increase the highlights all right i'm gonna reduce the shadows Let me see if I increase the shadows. Let's, let's increase the shadows a bit. Let me see how it's gonna be. All right, and just make that 26. Um, I'm gonna step to her vibrance and I just increase the vibrance just a bit. Just want to make it okay. I think I'm just gonna reduce the saturation a bit just to give it some balance. All right, and I'm now gonna increase the sharpness. Okay, so 45 should do. All right, next is the milkshake. Okay, let me start from the vibrance since ready here. Mm, let's make this 50. It's gonna increase the saturation. All right, so I'm just gonna scroll straight to the um, tint because I wanna make it to look pink. So it's gonna increase this tint to 50 or no, 45. Okay, I'm going to increase the brightness. I'm going to increase the highlights. I'm going to reduce the shadows. Okay. Now, this is actually taking shape. <laughs> uh, should I increase the shadows? I don't know why increasing shadows. No, let's just reduce the shadows. And then that's going to increase highlights a bit more. Yeah. So I am now going to go to my sharpness and I'm going to increase it. 
great so now we can now move to the next one on the agenda <laughs> all right which is the strawberry all right um i'm just going to I don't want to start with the sharpness first should we increase the tint yeah let's increase the tint a bit let's make this 50 all right I'm gonna now go straight to my highlights. I'm gonna increase the highlights to this 65. Oh, that's nice. I'm gonna reduce the shadows. I mean, I'm reduce it so much. Let's say minus 75. Okay. Um, gonna go to let's say my sharpness. Let's gonna increase the sharpness. Let's say 40 should do. Let me try touching, playing around with the color edits a bit. Um, let's see. Yeah, it's gonna increase the saturation of this. Probably just gonna. Nah, there's no point of doing this since I already reduced the tint. So I already increased the tint. Remember the tint to increase the growth. So, but I'm just let me just know to not do this. <laughs> let me just use increase the um, let's say saturation. Yeah, or let me just increase the vibrance. Yeah, I think that's better than doing that. All right, so I'm just gonna come over to this one here. What I want to do here is um, I'm just because I'm gonna like blow this. I don't want to do a lot here. I'm just gonna reduce the shadows. All right, I think let me just increase the highlights a bit. Okay. Um, I think that's all. So what I'm now going to do next is I'm going to go to effects. I'm going to go to blur and I'm going to increase the blur to 35. Okay. Because I don't want it to be so much or should we make it more? Let's, um, let's make it more. Let's add more blur. Yeah. 50 or 40. Yeah, let me add more. I don't know. I'm kind of skeptical in adding more. Let me just let's make it 50. Okay. Okay. Good. 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 Um, I think now I, I'm gonna add some. Yeah, I more highlights. Just 35. Okay. And then I'm gonna now duplicate it. Ah. Okay. It worked. Ah. Uh, network everything okay okay nah, it's done <laughs> like uh, what i want to do is i'm just gonna like um rotate like this and take take it here okay i'm probably gonna i'm going to just edit here a bit just add more highlights and i'm just gonna remove the so going to increase the shadows okay let me just um should I flip it? Let me try flipping it. Flip horizontally. Let me see what's gonna do. Yeah, that works. Okay. So next is we're going to going to add some um, faded gradients or um, yeah, I'm just gonna use my A shape to do that. So I'm gonna go and use the square shape all right i want to make this to be dark so i'm just going to take it over here okay 64 0f40 going to just copy that i'm going to go to gradient i'm going to change the color of this one to that color and i'm going to reduce the transparency to zero just come out of here okay so I'm just gonna rotate it like this and just gonna do it like this and um just want to rotate it and put it over here okay just to give this a little bit kind of like some depth something all right and then I'm going to now duplicate it and I'm going to change the color so I'm going to go to the color. Um, I'm going to change this color here. Let's take this up. Okay. 
Okay, so AD to seventy to F seventy eight. Going to copy that. Um, going to come to the second color here. Going to paste it over there. Okay, and just exit from here. So this is the first one we did, and this is the second one. So it's going to place this over here. I'm going to go to my layers and take it behind this one here. Okay, behind this first one that we did. All right, this just adds some depth. Okay, so I'm now going to bring in an element. All right, this element is called light circle or um, round, <laughs> round shadow blur illustrator, whatever. All right, uh, I'm just going to put it over here. Um, it's I think it's kind of like a pro element in Canvas, so I just decided let me just get the um just download it. Okay. I'm gonna be showing how to also change the color. So I'm gonna be increasing the size of this. Okay, I'm just gonna take it over here. Alright. And then I'm going to reduce the transparency. So let's make this 80. And you just um, adjust this. Yeah, because I don't want it to be to affect this so much. I'm going to reduce the transparency a bit more. Okay, 75 should do. Um, yeah, the text should be on top of it. The text should be on top of it. All right, it should just be on top of probably this image or something. Okay, I'm going to duplicate it. And... I'm gonna take it over here first let me just reduce this size all right please it's i was gonna reduce the size so that you guys can see what i'm oh yeah i'm sorry for that <laughs> i'm just gonna put this over here i'm gonna go to i want to change the color of this so i'm gonna go to my deal tone all right and i'm going to go to custom i'm gonna change the color of this to um f f e zero e f all right, I'm just gonna go and copy this, and I'm also gonna do the same thing for the shadows. All right, the same color. So as you can now see, the color has changed. If I increase the um, transparency of that, what just happened? Okay, I think. Oh, let's work. I think it's actually okay. <laughs> I was about to like freak out. I'm just gonna increase the size of this, alright? I'm gonna place it on top of a head. Alright, and I'm gonna reduce the transparency. Let's say 65, alright? Just as if some light is kind of touching a head or something. I'm gonna just increase it more. I'm gonna also duplicate it. And yeah. I'm going to change the color again. Let's increase the transparency so you can see the color I'm changing it to. So I'm going to go to effects, deal tone again, custom. And the hex code we're going to put in here is FFB2D8. Okay, so I'm going to copy this. I'm going to go to the second one. I'm going to give that the same thing. Okay. And then I'm going to place this over here. For this one, I'm not going to reduce the transparency or anything. I'm just going to place it over here. Okay, so you can kind of like see how it is now. Um, and yeah, let me also see how it's going to look if I edit the background. So I'm just going to tap this background here. Uh, I'm going to just go to adjust and um, let's see. I'm just going to increase it. Oh. If I increase the tint a bit, let's see. It's like for the six. Um, I think the major thing is in the vibrance and the saturation. So I'm just gonna increase this and also increase this. Yeah, it kind of looks cool. It kind of looks cool, but um, nah, that's not what I want. I'm just gonna click on reset here. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna go ahead and um, download this design. The magic of everything is just going to be done in Lightroom, okay? So I want to download the current page. Click on download. Ah. And yeah, our design has now been downloaded. If we check it, I'm just going to check it in my gallery. All right, so we can see it over here. Okay. Yeah. 
next now is to go ahead and edit it in lightroom okay guys so i've gone ahead and i've opened up our lightroom app and i'm just gonna come over here okay and open up the um our designs i'm gonna start from the lights here first um what i want to do is i'm just gonna go straight to shadows let me reduce the shadows um let's make this to be 40. i want to go to color and i want to give this more life so i'm going to do this i'm just going to increase the vibrance gonna increase it a lot great and also gonna add some saturation um let's see for some tint just make um yeah that's 15 should do yeah 15 should 15 is good so you can see before the after it looks more mature now i'm gonna go back to this light um let's increase the exposure a bit okay 20 or 10 let's just do 20. um I'm gonna increase the highlights 21 should do for that um also gonna let's reduce the yeah let's reduce the black minus text the six should do for that all right i'm going to step into the effect here i'm gonna increase the texture I'm gonna increase the clarity nah that's gonna be that's too much Okay, so nine for clarity. Okay, so four after. I want to go to my vignette. Um, let's just make it like this. Let me add, increase the midpoint. Let me increase the midpoint. Yeah, it's 84. Okay, that works. I think I'm just going to come back to this light and increase the exposure again to plus 30. All right, I'm going to go to my sharpening. That is the detail because it's going to increase this. Okay. Beautiful. See how it looks now. This is the before. And then this is the after. All right. So it looks quite much more better. I'm going to just probably add some grains on this. This is going to give this some grain. Okay. Uh, also just add some roughness okay that looks nice that looks pretty good <laughs> looks pretty good all right um is there anything we need to do um uh, let me see reducing this saturation what it would do yeah it actually looks good if you reduce the saturation also it looks more I don't know. Let me just add the saturation now. <laughs> you know what? I gotta um, download it with the saturation and without the saturation. All right. So let me just download the one with the saturation. So I'm just gonna save the copy. And I'm just gonna do it like with reduced saturation also. Okay, and let's go ahead and download and put this in our device. All right, so I'm just gonna go straight to my gallery and let's see how that looks. So this is the best one at the saturation and the grains and everything looks nice. And this without the saturation, let's re reduce saturation. They look pretty nice. I would advise, yeah, I think I would also advise that you probably reduce this. I think the grains is actually too much. All right. The grains is too much, actually. Um, yeah, I think this is much better. No, let me cancel that. <laughs> I want to add um, the, because I actually prefer it with the saturation, to be honest. Um, yeah, seven saturation. I'm just going to. Okay, so we can now see how it is. So this is the one with the reduced. Yeah, this looks better with the reduced grain and stuff. Okay, because this is just kind of, it's kind of making the face look weird, like an old grandma or something. <laughs> okay, all right, guys. So that brings us to the end of this video and I will see y'all in the next video. Goodbye.